did you enjoy going back to your British roots for this new film? I did. I did. I always enjoy being able to put on put on that accent in whatever dialect it is. There's something that feels very at home for me. And do you stay in the, uh, with the British accent um, when you're taking lunch breaks and stuff? Do you stay in character? No. <laughs> no, I need to separate. I need to take a breather, put it back on. Even in between takes, I jump back and forth. I, I don't. I don't have to stick in it the whole time. Uh, and has Dad Phil uh, seen a preview of the movie yet? No. No. Neither parent. Neither mom nor dad. I bet they're going I like to, to I like to keep the anticipation going. <laughs> yeah. It must have been quite cool to be Gary Oldman's secretary though, right? Super cool. I mean, to be able to be in every scene with him and to play off of his mank was amazing I mean he gives 110 percent and is so nuanced with every version of a scene and take that he does so I just get to play around with what I do and hope that I match his his professionalism <laughs> <laughs> now I read that you were going between Emily in Paris and going back to, back to LA to do Mank I mean I don't know how <laughs> you go between the two how did it work how did you make it work that's a really good question. Um, didn't think that it would be possible. Basically had to pretend like I was a robot. Um, yeah, I was in every scene in Emily and had no days off. So we would film night shoots until like four in the morning on Friday. I'd go back to my apartment, have a nap, get up first thing, go on the flight at 8 a.m., land in LA at like 10.30 in the morning, go straight to rehearsals, go to sleep, go to rehearsals, go to the airport, connect to London, take a connection to Paris, go to sleep for a couple hours and get up at five to go to work on Monday. I mean, it, it made no, it was like, or got to work on Tuesday because we would have had a three day weekend. So it was like, I was up in the air more than I was on the floor on the ground, but I'm so glad we were able to do it because if we didn't, then I wouldn't have been able to do both. And also it was two drastically different projects and roles. So it was easier for me to kind of separate between the two, not only location wise, it's like an American in Paris. All right. So then I go back to LA and then I'm a Brit, I'm half British in LA. So it's like I'd step off the plane and be able to kind of like switch in between the two. So it, it wasn't as difficult a process if they had been like the same type of character, that would have been even weirder, but I was okay. never going to like mess up the lines for Emily for Rita because they just could not be more drastically different. Exactly. And just quickly talking of Emily in Paris, it's been such a smash here in the UK. And I read that uh, season two is signed, sealed, and, you know, we're, we're ready to watch when you're ready to go and film it. Do you know when Oh my God, I'm so ready. No, I don't know yet. I mean, obviously COVID, you know, we have to be safe and figure all of that out, but we're having those conversations and we want to go as soon as we can. So we're so ready. 